What's up, YouTube? Pastor Bob here. I wanted to show you this uh, watch that I restored. This was a lot of work. It took me about six hours to get this thing back to working. Wow. Pain in the butt. This is a Remington 38055. Uh, alarm chron chron chronographic watch. Has a stopwatch and date, time. Um... All that jazz. So you got two time zones. So you can set it for two t two different time zones. Uh, if you want. Uh, it's got a non-moving bezel on it. Now this thing. I don't. I can't remember the history of it. But there was a bunch of. Uh, watches I had purchased that were in a flood. And a lot of them I couldn't. I couldn't even repair them. The salt water got to them. And a few of them, I had to take it all apart, clean it all. I mean, it's just a pain. And a lot of these digital ones, you know, once they go into the water, that's it. So I took it all apart. Uh, it was, most of it was pitted. All of the uh, wings on the ends were all pitted. And I spent hours and hours and hours. Because, you know, you don't see a lot of them around anymore. Not the vintage ones. And uh, it's got a sapphire crystal, so I had to get some diamond polish and polish that out. I got it pretty good. And the back and the sides, too, if you look at the sides. I'll bring you in a little closer so you can get a better view of it, so... And in the back. So I got a lot of it out. And so, oh man, a lot of sanding. Uh, I could have got more out, but you know what? We're under, let's see, 5x magnification. So I got a lot of the scratches out of it, but it came out pretty good. Oh, watch from, I think it's from the, like the 80s or. 90s. You know, when I was in the army, I seen one of these watches. Uh, they used to sell them in the uh, PX. They're like 179 bucks or something. <laughs> something crazy. You know, the army is. And I seen it. I said, I got to try to get it fixed. <laughs> the band was uh, that was on it was leather. It was just shot. So, uh, I had some vintage correct uh, straps that I put on it. And uh, it's working good. Working really good. Keeping time. Anybody that knows me knows I collect just about everything. But I really like to, you know, I love horology. I like the study of time and watches and I didn't want to over polish it. I wanted to leave some of the patina and just get most of the uh, pinholes out of it, which I did get. Um, it was uh, pretty fussy. I fought with it for a while. But as you can see, I got it up and running. And it's a pretty nice watch. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, you guys can do it too. Just take a little time, study a little bit or about horology. Uh, this here has, um, I believe this has the Japanese V12 movement in it. I think that's what, what it is. Uh, so this has a Japanese V12 movement in it. And, uh, they were great movements. So, anyways, a little short video. Just thought I'd show you guys what I was up to. Okay. Hope everybody's safe. Take care. God bless. This is Pastor Bob. I'm out of here. We'll see ya.